Assalamu alaikum dear students I'm Farooq Abdullah Today we are going to talk about linguistics actually the fundamental and basic concepts of linguistics this lecture is not going to be long enough it's a very short lecture in which we will discuss that what is linguistics and what are its main branches so may I have seen many students around who confuse language with linguistics they think that language and linguistics both are same thing actually both are not same thing language is something different and linguistics is something different language is mere a medium of communication then what is linguistics linguistics is the study of the language so what I'm saying I'm saying that study of a language not only the study scientific study of the language is called linguistics so what does it mean by scientific study objective study scientific study means objective study impartial unbiased study of language is called linguistics now to make you clear about this word scientific that how and uh, can we interpret this word scientific what is here in, in my hand what will you say that what's here in my hand you will say that this is a marker so this marker is actually the scientific word that you have used for this object marker and if I say that I have got weapon this is my weapon so I have used word weapon for this marker you have used a uh, word marker for this object and what I have used I have used weapon so this is the weapon of a teacher so I didn't use the word marker that is actually the scientific word but I'm using weapon so I am actually associating my personal feelings and emotions with this object and I'm saying it weapon instead of uh, a marker so the weapon is not a scientific word so I hope that you might have now got that what is a scientific so scientific means that objective impartial impartial unbiased means to say that you don't have any personal judgment you don't have any personal op opinion about something that is called scientific so this is how we can say that the scientific study of a language is called linguistics now this scientific study of language can be done under under three dimensions there are three dimensions under which a scientific study of the language can be done first dimension is sound second dimension is structure and the third dimension is meaning so the branches of linguistics which deal with the study of sound first we are going to talk about the study of sound so the branches of linguistics which deal with the study of sound these are phonetics and phonology now what is the difference between phonetics and phonology phonetics deals with individual sounds in a spoken unit it deals with individual sounds that how sounds are produced how sounds are received and what are the physical properties of of the sound of individual sound in a spoken unit the branch of linguistic that that deals with this aspect this is called phonetics I repeat that how sounds individual sounds are produced this is actually there, there are sub branches of phonetics as well how sounds are produced the branch of linguistics that deal with it is called articulatory phonetics what are the physical properties of the sound this is called acoustic phonetics and how sounds are received this is called auditory phonetics you know that there are physical properties of the sound as well now you have read in your physics uh, in your second year in your first year in your ninth tenth that the sound does have physical properties so the branch that deals with the with uh, with with the sound individual sounds in a spoken unit that is called 
phonetics. For example, there's a word cat, ka, a, to. So, ka, a, to. These are three individual sounds. So, the study that deals with individual sounds in a spoken unit is called phonetics. And then what is phonology? Phonology deals with the, that how sounds, how individual sounds get together to make a meaningful spoken unit. Cat. Cat is a meaningful spoken unit. And ka, he, ta, these are individual sounds. So phonology deals with, the, with, with that how individual sounds get together to make a complete spoken unit, a meaningful spoken unit. Now coming towards the second dimension of linguistics, the second dimension is structure. In structure, we study that how words are formed. So the branch that deals with how words are formed through different phonemes, that is called morphology. That is called morphology that deals with how words are formed formation of word the branch that deals with the formation of words that how different phonemes get together to make a word and the branch that deals with the how larger units like sentences like clauses like like phrases are formed through different words that is called syntax that is called Syntax. So the formation of words, that how words are formed, this is morphology. And how words join together to make larger meaningful units like phrases, like clauses, like sentences, this is called syntax. The third dimension under which a language can be studied scientifically is the dimension of meaning. That how meanings are generated how meanings are produced semantics and pragmatics what is semantics and what is pragmatics talking about semantics decontextualized study of the text is called semantics i repeat decontextualized study of the text i mean that there is a text in front of you and you don't care about the context that in what context this particular piece of art, this particular piece of sentence is written, that is called semantics. I mean that you don't bother about the speaker, you don't bother about the writer, for whom it is being written and who is writing, you don't bother about it. You don't take this element into consideration that what was the, con what was the context what was the situation in which that particular word was spoken or in which that particular sentence was spoken or what was the situation, what were the circumstances in which that particular sentence was spoken. For example, I say that damn you. So to study about this damn you without having in your consideration that when did I speak it? Uh, with whom did I speak it? Who was the listener? Whether I spoke it for, for a culprit? Whether I spoke it uh, for a terrorist? What was the situation? What was the condition? What were the circumstances? You don't take all these factors into consideration while you are analyzing a text. This is called semantics. And what is then pragmatics? Pragmatics means that you are studying the text with its context that what were the circumstances in which these particular words were written. What was the situational? You know, what was the situation in which these particular words are spoken or in which these particular words are written? So it means that contextualized study of the text is called pragmatics and decontextualized study of the text is called semantics. I hope that uh, you might have got your points clear. Stay tuned. Thank you very much.